Okay, so this lesson is the three, uh, there's three stages to transition. Okay, and I'm going to do this in a zone five, but this would be the same for like zone two, three, four, and five. But I'm going to demonstrate this in a zone five so you can understand it. Remember, you're, you, you got to get your hands first, automatic hands, and then all this stuff where we work up to the frame will just get bigger and better and better and better. But the, the pendulum, a lot of the pendulum is the same, really, actually in zone one, but but in primary, you're going to feel it in zone two, three, four, and five. So five state, or there's three stages, excuse me. The first stage is the club will start to slow down, okay? So when you get back, I don't care how fast you rip this thing back, I don't recommend it, but you're going to be going faster in your takeaway and in your, in your backswing, faster in your takeaway and in your backswing than you will in your transition. The transition is the slowest part of the golf swing, okay? And what the transition is designed to do is to allow your body to, to uh, create max stability and it's uh, and torque, max stability and torque, because this is stable at the top. That's no torque. That would not work. Here's torque with stability. So I've got max torque and I've got stability. So when I swing back, when I swing back, the first stage is going to be as it gets to all the way to the back, or if I'm doing zone five, it's going to start to slow down, and that's where my body is just going to start collecting the energy and my shaft is going to, to become, uh, start to become stable. So my body will become stable first, okay? It'll come to a full stop. The club might move an inch or two, and I, you'll see when you get really good, it will move a couple inches. So when you get big, the body will start, stop, and the, butt, and the arms are still, and the club head's barely moving. Now, it's not like this, okay? And it's not like this, and it's not this. So it's just stable in the torque. So that's the first part is it'll slow down. When you get to the, right to the first part, it'll slow down, It'll start to get collect torque, and you'll feel it if you do this correctly. All right. The second part is it'll come to a stop. So when you get up here, it'll actually stop for a split second. You don't see this on TV, but it happens with the best players. It will happen. The Jordan Spees, the Dustin Johnsons, the great the great ball strikers, Roy McIlroy's, the Fred Couples, you know Tiger back in the, in his heyday. They'll get up here. All right. Slows down, and then what'll happen is it'll come to you'll let the body stop for a split second and the club stop for a split second, and then the club, it'll come, that's, that's stage two. Stage three is where, as you go through, it slows down, it stops, it'll move, the club will move away from your body slightly, this way, okay, it's not casting this way, the body's not snapping back that way, that's, that's the, and this is what typically happens, is everybody will snap and lock up, or they'll snap in this. So you go in slow, come to a pause, it comes out wide for about six inches to a foot, and then that's where you're going to use the middle of the shaft and your mass and momentum to move forward, okay? It's a law of the pendulum, and it's just laws of physics, basically. So a basic way to look at this is if I was just doing one-arm swings, and I'm not trying, I'm not really trying to root here, and I'm just playing, it would go up, there's a slight pause, and then down. So this would be the law of the pendulum. This would be incorrect. You can see. That's incorrect. It would go up. Boom. Slow, moves away and forward. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Goes up, slows down, and forward. Right hand, up, slows down, and forward. Up, slows down, and then it maintains its alignment that we talk about. So it goes up, slows down, it maintains the alignment. So that's where you can feel like if I was the middle of the shaft moves. So if I go up here and slow, it comes down slow, then I can use my mass as I'm using the middle of the shaft and the side of the shaft to do that. So it's one, just like that. So that's the pendulum. Now again, I'm not trying to, I don't have a root here or anything like that. I'm gonna show you how to train it. You don't wanna stand up and just do stuff like this, really. You can play just to understand the concept, but when you're training, you actually wanna be kind of rooted. So it'd be more like that. So we'll go to that. So if I was rooted and I was wanting to do this, just one arm, don't hit balls doing this. So you go one, 1,000, everything stops, moves away slowly without running, moves away slowly, and then the mass and momentum move forward. So it's going, it goes up, there's stage one, stage two, stable, it moves away at stage three, and then from here as it, it's moving away, the mass and momentum, the middle of the shaft, and the mass and momentum move forward, okay? And that's why you see players, like if I have, so if I come up here and you see somebody that has, let's say they don't, that doesn't look like a lot of lag, and just, let's just see if this doesn't have any power. I can assure you I have power. Because you don't, what people, they think this is it, right? And that's it, it's a form of power. It's very narrow, it's not near as much as the one I just showed, actually. 
So if I get here, they'll say, look at all this power in his wrist, okay? But what they don't realize is he pulls and throws, whoever this is, it pulls and throws. They're getting so narrow, this thing's going to be breaking like crazy, okay? So when you see somebody that has this type of swing that's casting, they're not that far off. It's the problem is they don't have any, they don't have a transition. So this is what the transition will look like. So when you're looking at your video, which is probably the most important part, it would look like this. So it doesn't even look that bad. The tempo doesn't even look like bad. Or it'll be like that. There's n what problem is, or you can have a pretty, you know, you can have it somebody like that where it looks a little bit better or whatever. There's a lot of different ways, but the problem with all those, no matter what you do, is there was never, you, there, you never establish transition, okay? And that's the best word I can give transition. You have to establish transition. So when you do that, this is what a good swing would look like. Even if I don't have a good turn, like if I can't turn very well, this would be a step. At least I established transition. So even here, now that I've established, I know how to use the middle of the shaft, and I know how to use the, the, uh, my body weight. Watch what happens. You can hear, boom pop on the ball okay watch this just barely move but it, so this wouldn't be great but i've established i'm stopped right here i've got to i've established transition this is much better than going like that because then as soon as you go here and you're quick in transition where you pull or where you hear or even if you even do it correctly moving it away it's going to be broken because you don't have time there's never established uh, motion there so what you want to do when you go back even if you don't, can't turn very well, if you, even if you turn like this, if you stop and if you know how to apply the side of the club, even though you're in the worst position you can be in, if you know how to apply the side of the club and use the middle of the shaft, you can hit. That's called adjusting. And you may have to do that if you're limited and you're like this. You know, you know if you're down the line and you're like this right here that you're going to have to tip the body back down like we talk about. You have to get this root we talk about. But if you learn how to get the middle of the shaft and the side down, watch what happens. Boom, you can hear that pop, right? Same thing here. If I lift up the club, now I wouldn't recommend this for anybody because an amateur would just pull it back down. But if you get here, if you, if you stop, and if I use my brain and go, where's the middle of the shaft? I know if I go that way, I'm dead. So I kind of got to cork up and then come in because I've got to get the middle and the side of the shaft. The middle of the, of the shaft is the casting point, right? The side of the shaft is what makes the ball go where you control it. Wherever you want it to go is the side. The middle is where you're using, even when you're holding the club, and I'm holding the club here, the middle of the club is where I'm using, and again, casting, it's not violent. It's been fr frame by frame by frame. So it's in gradual speed, just like if it was fast, it would look like this, you know, boom. But it would never be, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to get it lined up. So that's it. So the third part, so we've talked about one and two, all right? So we've got the first part is whenever you start to go into transition, it starts to slow down. Two is where the body will actually stop first. The club might move a little bit more, but it's stable. It won't go uh, cocking around or anything like that, but it'll get stable as well. They come together to a stop. And then three is where the club, watch this, the middle of the shaft, it'll move away. The, the, the club head's going to move away from my body. I'm not running this way. I'm moving it away for about six inches and then motion of the body and the sweet spot will go together so it'll go like this and that's the way you can see you can just see the timing it's common sense if i wanted to tighten up the root it might look like that so if i wanted to go here and i push it down like that tighten the root might look like that tighten up all this if i want to go soft i can still play see that's soft legs i'm doing this I can spin. I don't know. I don't recommend this. Let's see. I can kind of go. I've established transition. But you can see I've controlled the side in the middle no matter what I do. But I controlled more importantly than anything, established transition. The biggest problem with establishing transition is when guys think of doing it to stop. So the first drill that you'll do that you should be doing for the month, it, it, probably the first goal in your golf swing is just to stop. But what people do when they stop is they won't turn. They just go like this. So they go, oh, look, I stopped. But you got a few other things you got to think about. When you stop, that's not correct one. But now you've got the shaft pointing all the way. The side of the shaft's pointing over here somewhere. And so you know that's not going to work by pulling it down. So then if you stop, it leaves you, gives you a chance to go, oh, I can feel that. I can adjust. Now, to correct that, that pause, just remember, you turn your right hand, your right, your right hip, and your shoulder back together. So you're going to wind up like you're going to hit it real shut. And then stop. Don't just... 
think stop in your before you've you've made your golf swing. Turn back, stop for a split second. So you go, it would look like this. This would be the, the perfect drill. We go turn back all together. One, two. Now it'll feel like this. Turn back, one, two, three, and then through. Because what you're trying to do as you stop here, look for a lot of things. This is what I see when people stop. One. Most of our players will kind of see high hips. They don't have a root, so they stop. They've done it, and then they try to, they try to hit like that, right? So you, when you stop like this, you can start to, if you know what you're doing our program, root those hips back and get those feet clawed down. So wherever you go, if you're here, st just to start adjusting, and then from here, try to apply the middle of the shaft and the side of the shaft where you want them to go. Okay? I know I'm a little running into a couple other things, but these are all tied together, and it's very important to understand how one affects the other. It's just not, it's not just about getting up here and establishing transition. It's also uh, mastering the side, the middle and the side of the shaft. The, the middle is the casting point, okay? The hand, cause, so you can control the alignment of the handle and the head that, and, the, and the side of the shaft where it's gonna make the ball go where you want it to go, okay? What's the other one? The other one is mass and momentum. So as I do, as I've come in and I've established transition, I've come out of transition, I've cast the middle, I'm moving my body in the sweet spot in the same rate. You can see if I'm doing this, I'm not going here. I'm not snapping out or I'm not casting the middle. I'm trying to cast the middle of the shaft and not moving, see? That's, the, that's, why, the, that's why the pendulum is so important in the third phase. See, if I get up here and I snap and don't move, if I go slow out of transition, it, this part should be very slow. It moves away very slow, and then my body will come up together and hit. You should watch that in live training on your iPad and watch in video and record yourself because you'll be amazed at how bad that'll be most of the time. All of us. I was the same way when I started with it. I used to have this. You know, I used to be like that. And everybody would say how pretty it was, but it was ineffective. It was not near as effective as I am right now by just simpler. You know, this goes away slow. My mass and body come in together, okay? Just like that. Mass, body, uh, the, the mass and the momentum of the body, the whole body, everything, will go forward into the ball my head did not move forward see these aren't related my knees my head my body my mass so if i go here and i go like that that's not it so what happens in the third phase i'm here i, I did one part i did part one slow down i stopped everything i move out and i'm you can see how stable i am and i moved out i'm not rotating back i moved out six inches cast the club and then gradually move forward through the shot okay Rotation will pull yourself through if you connect with all these things. It'll be a piece of cake. If you come up here and you try to snap the hips to get your power, you'll leave it back, and a lot of people say, oh, that looks good. Again, all the, this is all handle power and not the middle and the side of the shaft. So when I, it looks good until I hit like that, or it looks good until I, then I try to square the face up and it, beats the, uh, and it beats the handle. See, there's too much to deal with. So if I get here, plus I'm going to blow my back out. I could still do it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't do it. But you got to be thinking middle and side. You got to control the middle and side of the shaft. I could go like that. You can see, I can do it anyway. You know, you put me anywhere. I'm going to try to do my best to control the middle and the side of the shaft. So in your training, I think that's a good, probably a good tip, is you better control no matter what you're doing. If you're trying to root and rotate and build all, build your transition. When you come out of it, get the side and uh, the the top of the shaft where the release is coming from, and the side of the shaft is what makes it go here, 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 and you have full control of that. We'll do a quick review. Like I said, these three fundamentals I talk about are tied together. So it starts with establishing trans, it probably starts before, and it starts by kind of getting everything to work together back somewhat, all right? But you have to, whatever you start with in transition, even in a zone, uh, uh, say a zone three, okay? When it comes up here, it's still the law of the pendulum. You can see it would look like this, it would go, you can see if you watch this, this has got a pause to it. And notice my body wasn't here, right? That's why some people say, hey, I want to use snap my hips. Why would, would you snap your hips in a putt or a, or a chip shot? Would you want to do that? No. That's what it looks like when players try to do that. Or they say, all right, hit with my shoulder or whatever. It's the same thing. It's got to be everything is tied into with one unit. So with zone three, you can see pendulum here. Pendulum slows down. It moves away slowly. You can see it's moving away. It keeps it shallow. If I go a little longer, so this is what it would look like. You go. I like doing it with one hand. 
And I also like doing it kind of with the shaft in the middle so I can control both. But I'm doing it here so you can see this against the ground. The right hand, you can see, I'll give you another tip here, is it's the right lifeline when I do this, I want it facing the golf ball, the inside portion, so it goes up. If I had it over here, look what I did to the side in the middle of the shaft. So then if I just casted it, I'd hit a hosel rocket because I'm hitting it, I'd be hitting it like this. So if I roll that club open and I cast it into my, if I don't adjust the middle, the side of the shaft, I think I can, well, I'm just going to cast it. That's what you're hitting it with, and that's common. So if you get the right hand pointing, the lifeline pointing like this, and then that's where natural side bending will take place. You don't cock the wrist or this. You just go here, and then whenever it settles in or whatever, see, that's your delivery. So easy. So then when you, when you go to gently cast the club with your body, it's in alignment. If I roll it down this way, the other way, so if I roll it this way, if I roll it like that, you can see I've got the shaft pointed over here, and now what do I got to do? I, if, I came, if I cast it from here, I'd hit my left ankle. So I'd have to roll it and then do that. And that's where all this, these soft movements, see, if I did that, this is not what I'm teaching, by the way, but even if I did it, if I knew what I was really doing, I've got to get the shaft pointed in transition in that transition zone. When I go to come out of it, I've got to have my right lifeline pointing where I want it to strike, okay? Now, there's, when I say I, I have to, I probably shouldn't say that because you can have the lifeline even in different positions, vertical coming down, but you'll see very few players that can do this and then get the control of the middle of the shaft. It can be done. I can tell you that's not the way, even the players that play on the tour that do that don't like the way that looks and they don't want to have to rely on that and it's not what the best ball strikers in the world do. When they, after they've established transition, they're coming out, that get that lifeline right on line with the inside quadrant of the ball so when they go to release it, it's just a straight line. There's not, they're not having to go in and make all these adjustments. Same thing with like Jim Furyk. He goes up here like this. The first thing is he gets that lifeline back back on, on line with the golf ball, just like all the greats do that, that do that. So, again, I know this had a lot of stuff in it, but I know it'll really help you, and it's really established that transition. But when you're doing the pause drill, if you're trying to go up here, even in a zone three, and you try to pause, don't watch this. This is incorrect. See, I didn't move anything. Move your right hand, move your right hip and your right shoulder, and keep that right hand down on the inside quadrant ball so it'd look like this. And then you'd pause, and then get the control of the shaft so it looked like this. That would be your goal, in my opinion, for the first month to be able to control zone two or zone one, two, three, four, and five and just be able to get the transition. So if you turn back, so if I did turn back in zone two, all right, pause, then I can work on the middle of the shaft, the grip alignment point, like we talked the middle side of the shaft. I go back a little longer, wherever I stop. I've got the right hand pointed here. I've turned back. I've paused, and I'm here. Now, one last big mistake out here, it's a long video, and I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. You just have to watch and take notes. It may take you several times. So I've said the, the number one mistake is nobody will turn when they think pause in their backswing. They'll just, they'll go here and stop. Turn back and then stop. Now, the big, second biggest mistake, and that's really all there is. There's two mistakes that will be made with this. They'll turn back and they'll, they'll do it correctly like we talked about, and then they'll snap like crazy to hit the ball, especially in zone fours and fives. And they'll do it in threes, too. So if I had them here, they'll try to hit it way out there. When, just remember, when you're in a zone, any zone, if I'm here, just even in a zone three here, soft. So this cast in the middle of the shaft is not this. It's just gentle. See? Just like that. So I go back here. I'll pause. Hit that ball four, five, six, seven yards with a sand wedge when you come out here on a zone three. So you know that you're not doing that. On a zone five here, I've stopped. Patient, see? patience if i tried to crank it you still have to be patient that's what's so hard if i was going to crank it here watch i'm going to come down then the power so here's a good example and i'm telling you that has wicked power because i'm i'm very patient here see and then boom all right that's all i've got for you on that and i know this will really help you the first goal of this pendulum drill remember is just to get a stop i want to see the in transition i don't want to see this i don't even want to see the slowdown and hit i want to see kind of here and stop and then control the middle and the side of the shaft in zones one two in zone one it would look like this zone two would look like this zone three zone four we're going to go further back but you can see every one of them has a stop zone five 
and stop. That'll be the first stage. Now, second, uh, next month I'll have a new goal. If you've got that one down, I'll have a new goal for you, and uh, you'll see that for the second second stage. All right.